Hello, yeah. everybody. Hello, Nigerians. And if you are a parent in Chrisland High School or Kwebi Ikeja, Lagos, I need you to pay attention to this video I'm showing you right now. Um, this is the hospital, the so-called well-equipped hospital that they said they took my child to. Um, first of all, before you get to this hospital from the stadium, it's going to take you about five minutes if there is no traffic. If there is traffic, it's going to take you about ten minutes. Now, if you look at the entrance of this so-called hospital, you can see a mechanic workshop. You can see women who are selling food. You can see that even if a vehicle we have to drive in here under emergency, there is no way they can drive in. Because there are mechanic workshops who have parked dead vehicles on the road leading to this particular place. Is this where a right-thinking human being will bring a dying person? I can bet you for one thing, if you have malaria and come to this hospital, you will never survive it. This is where Chrisland School brought my daughter. They said they brought her here on emergency. I wonder what sort of emergency this could be. There are a lot of hospitals around. Like I said, you can imagine this environment. This is the frontage of an hospital. And you can see these are just lock-up shops that are joined together and they call it an hospital. You are going to see their emergency unit right now. And besides, this is the only hospital I've seen that does not operate every day. Um, like today being Sunday, when this video is being taken, <laughs> you can see that they said they only operate from 2.30 p.m. In the, in the afternoon to 6 p.m. in the evening. I wonder what sort of hospital closes work when they have patients. You can see the environment. You can see. Can you see? This is the hospital. Can you see? This is, this is what they call the emergency unit. Can you see the emergency unit right now? This is the emergency unit. This is, this is where my daughter's body was dropped helplessly. This is an immunization point and center or unit. Can you see it? Can you see? This is the reception. Can you see? As I'm talking to you, no power supply in this place. The day my daughter was brought here, there's no power supply, nothing. I entered the place in seconds. I was literally sweating. You can see, these are the environment. Please, for an organization as big as Chrisland, just imagine this. How can you say this is the only place you could bring a child? This is the frontage of the hospital. Is it that you did not check, you know, before your inter for started, possible hospitals that are nearer? If they are telling you lies, Chrisland parent, one thing I want you to remember is this girl could be your child. This girl could be your child. You can see this video. This is the environment. My media team went there to take all of these videos to show the world, to show Nigerians, where they said they rushed somebody to on emergency. This is it. This is it. In case many of you have not seen the video clearly, this is exactly the video. Share it with parents that need to see this. Share it with everybody that needs to see this. This is the environment. This is the hospital. This is the front of the hospital. This place alone can have one, have cholera. This environment alone. Can you see? This is the hospital. You can see the fence of the hospital is where people are spreading their clothes. Can you see? Can you see? This is the hospital where Chris land. These are the houses surrounding it. Sharing a wall with another dirty environment and dirty houses there. Can you see? This is where they brought my child. So if I tell you Chris land is unjust, if I tell you they are wicked in their behavior, if I tell you they've killed this child, and they never give her a fighting chance. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the hospital where my daughter was taken. And every one of you know how Agege Road, that is Moshalashi Alaja Road on Agege, how it looks like. Every afternoon is choked and jam packed because it's a very narrow road. But I will also tell you this. I went ahead to look for closer hospital right behind the stadium. There is the Apostolic Church Hospital, Specialist Hospital, 
which is 30 seconds drive. If you drive slowly, it is 30 seconds to the stadium. My child was not taken there. From the stadium to Isalu Hospital, beside a wild hotel, it is just 3 minutes 54 seconds. From the stadium to County Hospital in Oba, it is just 4 minutes. If you are driving on emergency, you could arrive in that place at a county hospital in three minutes. You did not go to county hospital. You did not go to the Apostolic Medical Center right behind, just at the back of 30 seconds. In fact, if you want to run with your leg from the stadium to this place, you, you will only run one minute. You will be in that hospital. The Apostolic Church Medical Center, if you are walking with your feet, you will only do that in just one minute. If you are using a vehicle and you are driving with speed, in fact, maybe in 10 seconds you will arrive at that place. Because it is just behind. You will be looking at the fence of the hospital while you are looking at, at the gate of um, the stadium. So all of this was not done. You took my, my daughter to this God-forsaken environment and you said you gave her all the medical attention you could give. If your child is still in Christland and you are supporting this school, what I'm going to say is sorry to you. Sorry to you because it could be your child next.